Welcome everybody, Nanka here, and it's time for another episode of Sold in Shorts. How about a toast? And so we truly begin the game. There we go, there's Nanka. I was one as big as I thought they'd be. And zero aww. Zero came out pretty darn well, actually. You, yeah, well, the, does the cat not count? Does zero not count? Zero always counts. It's already a team of two. It's not quite robes, but I do think the uh, leather outfit looks quite nice on Anka. You're looking with your eyes. Shouldn't it be look at that, not listen at that? I've not really played... I've not really played uh, Monster Hunter, so I have very little uh, idea of all this stuff. I've tried it once before, uh, well, a little demo of it, wasn't a fan of it, it's more of a multiplayer experience. But hey, I'm trying this one because, you know, there's a character creation to it, so hey, excuse to do a solemn short start, eh? Oh my gosh, the game starts off with something bad happening on a boat. That never happens! That is a true mystery! Given we're supposed to be the actual fighter here, the other girl there managed to outspeed you quite easily, Nanka. No! That'd be cruel if you they made you customise that character and then killed it off instantly. Glad there's no other game that did that! <laughs> Thank you! You! <laughs> yeah, how was I not supposed to see that? Well, can't pause yet. Uh, from what I've heard, you can't really stop this game, even when offline. You can't just pause in between quests and such, which is really annoying. Oh, well, okay, I'm climbing now. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm grabbing onto here. Oh, no, whoa, that's bad. Okay, so I found what not to do, and that was... I uh, definitely <laughs> knew what not to do. Okay, let's, uh, like, that'd be terrible if I died in the tutorial. Oh, there's a little grappling hook. Okay, that makes sense. You haven't told me how I jump? Oh, it just does it for me. Okay, that's good. Grappling hook! As nice as this uh, other character has been so far, you know, still not a cat. I'm really distressed about the death of my cat. I didn't go through the trouble of trying to make it look like zero only for it to die. That that that's just cruel, game. That's just cruel. As tragic as the death of a husband. No, I'm fairly sure that your cat survives that you know. Yeah, funny enough, it's not a fan of hitchhikers. Good a thought. There's a lot of falling and crashing in this game already. Yes. You only just saw the tent! You have stretchy arms, don't you? Okay, oh, finally, the menu. Oh, select button. Microsoft does a strange symbol for select. Is your name just the handler? Do you have an actual name? Is it handler? I'll call you Handy from now on. Miss Handy. Pretty game, though. Do I seem prettier? Recore is a majestic game that few people have actually bothered to play, but... It's a beauty that you should really check out. Both in its uh, graphics and its gameplay. You've been here for seconds! Dear gosh, it does work quick, eh? And it's funny, Mum saw us, um, saw Rafi playing this a long while back, and um, her first comment was Oh, is that the breadcrumbs from Fable? It was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, now, now I get sad because Fable. Wish that was uh, still about. There's rumours that Microsoft may be planning to bring it back, but it's like, will it be the same about Lionhead? Will it? Put up your Dukes Nanka, punch him out. Although I usually, you know, don't style Nanka stat wise like that, <laughs> which is which is a big contrast because I love just using melee to solve my problems in games. <laughs> but Man Nanka's a witch, so of course I usually focus her on long distance and magic. Okay. I'm glad they decided to just, you know. Look for some brush you can hide in. 
Oh, this is cool. I'm pretty sure they saw us walk over here, though. Wow, those are some dumb dinosaurs. Shouldn't you, you know... Oh, well. The Arm of Camelage, okay. Um, can I not follow? Okay, there we go. Oh, I just... <laughs> Naga just charges her way through. Apparently she doesn't even need to push the vines and such out of the way. Old footprints. Okay, just gonna... Oh. Did I just pick up a footprint? Impressive, Nanka. You picked up a footprint. Not sure how you pick up a footprint, but... Bravo! This is not gonna go end well, trying to pick a photo of a monster without a weapon. So I'm just... So is Nanka just gonna suplex it or what? Oh, they are, wow. They really did want me to dodge roll. Yeah, uh, Nanka, stop, stop staring. I, I mean, it's interesting, but I'm pretty sure you should be terrified at this point. Woo! That seems like she moved less via the jump. You mean that was natural? That, that is pretty convenient. It's like the get, it's like it was designed by like people with these weird things called computers for purposes of a video game. It's impressive that, you know, the boat, you know, the people on the boat lived. And I heard tea. I'll have to grab that in a second once I uh, can have a moment of pause. A little disappointed that I uh, couldn't alter character height and such. Nanka tends to be fairly short. Oh, no voice acting in the scene. Okay, I was really confused. I thought, oh no, it's broken, isn't it? But no, there's no dialogue in the scene. I don't think they're going to let me go grab my tea. You are monsters. There's tea. Tea to be had. So I've heard Monster Hunter is an awful is a game about mainly hunting, then crafting, by more hunting, by crafting. It's a world of grinding, but without levels. Well, I think they may have introduced levels since then. You know what I hate when you're um you pick up your co tea cup off the coaster, uh, well, and suddenly your coaster comes along with it. Really irritating. The outfit looks like, just looks like your own. Okay. Yeah! In game form, an adorable hat. Oh, my character doesn't open. Nanka doesn't open the dialogue. Wait, why are you the one hugging my cat? Stop hugging my cat. No, seriously, it's not safe to hug Zero like that. He does not like to be hugged, and oh, his pupils are large at the moment. You're a dead. You're a dead woman. I'm afraid, Miss Handley and Miss Handy. Ah, oh, we had a lovely pizza last night. Um, just after coming uh, home, well, no, uh, we finished watching the Avengers Infinity War. Great movie. Hey, um, lovely seeing the uh, Tumblr reaction of, of their words being destroyed. What? No, apparently it's, no. Yeah, would you like to say a few words? Not head. Never says a word. Well, that's because you gave it to us, like, right away, your, your group. Yeah. Looks like a choice here. Why did we come here without a weapon? Dear gosh, I've got a... Uh, Nanka's got a spacious room here. And it's just a random extra cat. You know, I already have a cat. I don't need another one. I mean, I wouldn't mind more cats. Okay, Hunter's knife. That doesn't look like a knife. That looks like a short sword. Okay. So let's see here. What was the one I was going to go with? Not that one. There's obviously no magic weapons in this game, so nothing that would be entirely fitting of Nanka. Bagpipes would be amusing. Oh yeah, that goes with that. Let's see, that's the Iron Spear. That's the Insect Glaive, isn't it? Or the Cauldron 1. Muldron 1. Yeah, I think that's the Insect Glaive. Let's see. Yeah, the, it's a long staff-like weapon. Well, okay, spear, but... Um, and it has a pretty unique aspect to it that I think is going to be interesting to use. So, yeah. I mean, it's a tad big for Nanka to be having. But it comes with an insect, so hey. Little buggy comes with it. Let's see what, how I can change the clothing. So, this might be where I end this next part here. Having just uh, sorted through the equipment. And I'll begin again. With, you know, I'll move on to part three, obviously. Again, who knows if this is the end or not. Because, you know... Uh, I never know. That's the mystery of so much just that. Uh, cheer everyone, just in case though.